In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for building robust patterns. We'll review how feature references affect pattern results and how to create successful 3D curve patterns. The sketch feature for this cut uses construction geometry to drive the width such that when we change the vertical location, the width updates. If we create a dimension pattern and vary this vertical dimension, the pattern member's width will follow the construction geometry. In this example, a reference pattern did not produce the intended results. Notice the sketch has references and dimensions to default datum planes, which are not patterned with the feature. My first tip is to use embedded datums. Start the extrude tool, then start the datum plane tool. We'll create this datum plane through the center axis and the axis of the lead hole. Select the sketching surface so that when we unpause the extrude tool, that will be our sketching plane. We're now going to check our sketch setup and make sure that we're using that embedded datum as our reference orientation. We no longer have references to the default datum planes, so we can build our section as desired. Now that the sketch orientation plane is embedded in the feature, the sketch is rebuilt correctly at each reference pattern location. In this 3D curve pattern attempt, we can see the extrude direction did not follow the curve as intended. We used an embedded datum plane but notice it was defined to stay parallel to the right datum plane. For the extrude direction to follow the curve, define the datum plane through the lead point and normal to the entire curve. Since the datum was not embedded, we need to group the features. Notice the pattern fails where the curve transitions into another plane and we have a datum plane displayed at each instance. The pattern fails because there is still a sketch orientation reference to the front datum plane. The best way to do this is to start the extrude tool, create the embedded datum plane so it follows the curve, and then more importantly as the next tip, remove the sketch orientation reference. As the curve transitions into the right datum plane, the front datum is no longer a valid orientation reference. With this sketch orientation removed, the pattern completes as expected. Lastly, we'll create a 3D curve using embedded datums and two dimensions. In this case, we use a revolve feature and define a number of datum features to fully capture our design intent in one feature. Use the next end option if needed. In this case, we'll use a negative increment value on our pattern. Create a datum axis through the point and normal to the adjacent surface. The 
the last embedded datum is another plane through that axis and normal to the first datum plane. Unpause the Revolve tool, check the sketch setup, and notice we're sketching on the last plane we defined, and the sketch reference orientation is the first plane we defined. We can now create our section using a horizontal center line, and in this case, we'll create an ellipse. With the Revolve tool, we'll trim one side of the center line and we can leave it open. For this dimple feature, we're going to remove material and then create a round on the edge. Group the features and start the pattern tool. The last tip is to use multiple dimensions while patterning. In this case, we use the offset point dimension and again use a negative value for the increment. And then we can hold control and select the ellipse length and give its own increment to shrink the length for each instance.